so this is a, a restock and another one that I've got in the, the mid 2023 uh, releases and uh, it was quite sort of relentless at that time and they were pumping up pairs after pairs and like I say because it was the last run of them at that time I wanted to grab a pair of these and even now to this day they've sort of released some in March 2024 um, but not that many 350s anyone they released was I think the grey version and I wasn't really interested in that and I kind of like these in being more simplistic in terms of their colorway because of the way the silhouette looks it's kind of like a more sock like type experience and this is like the 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 Yeezy 350 bone and it's just a, a really cool shoe to, to have and basically rock and I actually really like this colorway as well it's just nice and simple and easy to rock and then I like the transparent uh, stripe that you got going in here it's like this TPU material which is different to some of the other ones because some of the other ones don't have uh, TPU material it's more a kind of the prime knit kind of material the cotton material and this one's got the pull tab as well so that's what I also like I think it just adds that bit of extra uh, dynamic to the sneaker and without it I think it looks a bit too simple uh, for me anyway so maybe I'm just <laughs> one of those people that are like a spoiler in the back and uh, yeah so in all, all in all it's just an easy to wear piece of footwear and even to this day I think they look, just look really cool and just eat, like I say just a nice pair to have and uh, just yeah another one that I've got and got a few uh, 350 V2s not that many I think I've got sort of three pairs so which I'm quite happy with and I don't need more than that I, like I say I like the simple colorways So here's the details for the Yeezy 350 V2 bone. It comes in a bone colorway, which is uh, basically going towards a white sail color. And these have uh, a basically Adidas boost in there in terms of its technology and it's on the soft side. And the EVA it, outsole is basically covering the midsole area as well. So the boost sort of in is enshrouded inside. And this is made up of sort of all synthetic and cotton materials. And the price was 200 pounds. So with the confident sizing, this has Adidas Boost technology in there and it's more on the sort of soft to medium side and Boost can sort of vary between comfort levels and with this one, it's definitely more on the sort of softer side. And the upper sort of fits like a sock, but it still has a little bit of structure to it. it on the toe box, it's got some basically support and then also in the heel area. And they also have really good support around the arch and just feel sort of nice and foot really quite sort of neutral. And because it fits like a sock, there's no really wear in time with these. It's not like a, any sort of leather material. And I think true to size works, but I tend to just go up half size because I just like a bit more space. And surprisingly, these have good traction as well, in my opinion. They work well. So with the look and style, I love the uh, futuristic design for these. They still look different to other sneakers that are out there. And the fact that it's one of those ones that can be worn sort of spring, summer and autumn time. I wouldn't be really wearing these in winter, just you know, I don't wouldn't want to sort of trash them up, and then also the fact that they have a sort of breathable mesh upper and not very sort of waterproof. And I think this one, because of the colorway, you can sort of rock them casual and smart casual. And I think uh, black laces would work on these as well as the white that come with it. So, with the final thoughts, I like the fact that it fits like a sock and you have a bit of support around the toe and the heel area, and the boost in there feels really nice for however long it lasts. With the cons, I think the cost is just priced a bit too high. And I think the boost sort of bottoms out after a while, so you do experience that. I think it's like one of those ones in terms of its tech. If you give it a few days and, and leave the trainers alone for a few days, once you sort of worn them once, and they tend to sort of basically rebound, and then the next time you wear them, you kind of feel that boost again. So with the ratings, I give the look and style for this a 5 out of 5. And with the comfort, I'm going to give it a five as well. I think it's still really nice on foot and the boost does give you that sort of bouncy feeling. But I, my only sort of gripe with it is sort of it bottoms out. But like I say, if you have different pairs to wear, then you can kind of sort of mitigate that a bit as well. And the quality, I give that a four. I think, uh, like I say, it's, it's mainly sort of synthetic materials and the materials are made, you know, it's all constructed really well. But at the end of the day, it's not using sort of anything special. And with the pricing, I'll give that a 3 out of 5. It's uh, probably priced too high nowadays. I think uh, 350 should be a lot lower in price because of the synthetic material. But I'll still give it a 5 out of 5. I think it's just a really cool uh, sneaker and I like this sort of white, almost sort of cell colourway. 